Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sport Show right here on Smash FM here on Lockdown Monday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's turn our attention to swimming and, of course, speak with, uh, the, of course, the DVE Aquatic uh, Swimming Team. And for this particular swimmer, uh, of course, he'll be hoping to uh, hopefully get to Adelaide uh, sometime this week uh, to obviously uh, compete uh, for the Olympic trials coming up uh, in 2021, which is obviously this year. And of course, his name is Jatson. We've already had him on the show already. Thanks, uh, Jatson, for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's going to be fun. No worries. Well, since we last had you on the show, which would have been about maybe one or two years ago, I can't remember how long it's been. Yeah, um, yeah, been tell a, us a bit about, Tell us a bit about how you've gone so far. Uh, well, so far I've just been hunkering down and just training. So I would have had in the past, I don't know, two years, maybe two months off training just all up and between that I would have done about four or five state championships and about three national championships so been all guns firing for the last two years just trying to get to this point here. Now I'm assuming that you have been training um, during our current lockdown Uh, obviously preparing for the Olympic trials coming up over in Adelaide um how's that traveling and how good is it to I guess do like be able to go to training and not worry about like other people trying to use the pool yeah um so yeah ever when the lockdown got announced on the 27th I uh got in contact with Swim Victoria and they had set up like a little training bubble thing for a select few swimmers um different clubs got different pools i got put into the uh group at msac and there's about 25 of us there and we have two hours a day twice a day most days of the pool being all to ourselves and there's two or three lane and it's a lot a lot better than sharing the pool with the public which can sometimes have its downsides main downside is i'm not training with my usual team Uh, there was a bit of adjustment last week just trying to get to know people because i've seen them all in competitions and everything but don't actually know them Mm. so the past week it's just been trying to get well getting to know them and now it's oh we said it today it's more of a dysfunctional family now than a team so in that obviously all of you would have been separated from your normal squads and your clubs that yeah. you've uh, normally swim at uh to and mm. obviously prepare for these sort of events i guess uh how difficult has that been in regards to um, you know, trying to get along with each other, even though you're sort of competing against each other for the same spot. It's very easy to get along with each other because swimming is more of an individual sport when you're racing because it's just you and you're trying to beat the people next to you. But when you're training, everyone, we all gel together really well and everyone supports each other and everyone pushes each other in training and uh the coaches all know what to do everyone everyone knows the past two weeks we hit our peak in training and then the next well this week we bring it down to make sure we're all fresh for the main competition so training's been more or less the same it's just doing it with different people and it's, it's easy to do it. Um, I know obviously we're in current lockdown at the moment, but are you hoping to go across to Adelaide this week? Um, I am hoping. Uh, I've actually received a, a border crossing permit from South Australia Police. Oh, it would have been while I was training. Um, 
unfortunately, I will still have to do a five-day isolation period where I can't go anywhere. If I do that, that five days without being in the pool will ruin the last five years of training that I've been doing. So I will try and appeal that five-day uh, isolation period. Uh, if I can, then yeah, I'll be going going up on Friday as planned. But if I can't do it, uh, the coaches in our training bubble have well are organising our own little uh, competition within everyone training at the moment, just because everyone will have to do the same and it's it won't be training wasted and it'll be a bit of fun really so is your obviously you know you're hoping to go over there without any restrict uh, any uh quarantine yeah. side things but ask, but is that going to hinder in regards to if you don't go over there um yeah yeah, well, if I don't go over there, it won't. I won't be officially part of the Olympic trials. And any time that I do, if we do our little, our own little meet, won't count towards the official competition. Yeah. So. Um... Obviously, we all want you to go over there. Um, so that's obviously the yeah. ultimate. Um, so yeah. let's just say everything all went well. You do go over there um, and mm -hmm. obviously compete in the Olympic trials. Um, yeah. I guess, obviously, you want to make the team. But um, is there yeah. one specific – is there a time that you, that you want to beat in your specific event? Um, yeah, there is a time to beat in my – event i'm doing the 200 butterfly which is the event that most people choose to stay away from at all costs because it's known as one of the hardest <laughs> events to do um so yeah my time right now is sitting on a 207 um and i got that two years ago so really i want to try and go go below 205, try and get to as close as two minutes as I possibly can. That would be an amazing time to get. Obviously, you want to go to the Olympic Games um, in yeah. this year. But um, is, other than making Olympic Games in Tokyo, is if you don't make this one, is the next one in 2024, I think it is, the next yeah, one? Yeah, 24, uh, yeah, yeah, in Paris. Uh, in Paris. Is that something you want to do? Um, do you, so I know this doesn't sound really silly, the question you asked, but do you want to, would yeah. you rather go to Tokyo or Paris? Honestly, for the country, I'd want to go to Tokyo, but for the Olympic Games, I'd rather go to Paris <laughs> just because in Tokyo, there won't be a crowd and yeah. without the crowd, you don't have the atmosphere and the atmosphere is really what you compete under because you can you could I could swim a 200 fly competition ready whenever I wanted but it won't have the same atmosphere as an Olympic race would mm -hmm. so Paris would be more optimal to go to than Tokyo yeah mm -hmm. no, I agree with that one uh, yeah. now, now we'll finish up with these last couple of questions, uh, which is what does the sport of swimming mean to you, especially being at DVE Aquatic? Yeah, so swimming's been my entire life. All, all throughout primary school, I was doing nippers, going up into state squad finishing state squad when i was in grade six and then when i was 15 starting to make states made my first nationals at 17 so swimming's always been a part of my life i've never gone a day without it so i really 
I can't imagine a time where I won't be swimming, I guess, gone so long doing it. And yeah, but I haven't been around in DV Aquatic as long as some other people. I've only been part of the club for three years, but in that three years, I've, I've done a lot. I've hit some really great times. Um, and yeah, Brian's been an awesome coach. And I guess the biggest thing about DVE is I am the oldest competing swimmer there. So I, a role model to all the other kids. I get a medal at States. I've made a whole bunch of national titles, open nationals. Um, and yeah, I guess it's nice to be seen as an inspiration to the next generation of kids that come up and I do have kids after training come up say hi and I say hi hi back and it's it's nice to be looked up at nice to be considered a role model for what kids can achieve when they get to my age which isn't old but yeah finish off with this one last one which is what would be your advice to people that get involved that should get involved in swimming especially there at DV Aquatic, there at Watermark. Swimming's, swimming's great. You have your times where you can chat to people. You have your times where you can just think by yourself, which is a lot because your head's underwater and you have a lot of time to just reflect on stuff, good stuff, bad stuff. What you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to have for dinner. It's very relaxing. It and at the same time, it pushes you a lot. It's it's a great sport that just works everything. And at, yeah, at DVE, we we really look after the younger kids. We have really good coaches there, and they yeah, they look after you from when you're twelve up to when you're twenty. And I see that, and it's really it's really great to see because but some clubs might not pay so much attention to the little little kids Mm -hmm. and they'll kind of just let them grow up and then pick and choose the ones that go ahead of the pack and bring them up but in dva it's all it's all on the same playing field Mm -hmm. which is really good and it gives everyone an opportunity and best thing about dva everyone Everyone gets the same opportunity to go up in all the training and all that. And you can get the same opportunity growing up. And it's good. Thank you so much for giving up your time to join us. It's awesome having you on the show, especially away from your busy schedule that you've got. And uh, we definitely hope that you can get over to Adelaide um, on Thank Friday you. and uh, and hopefully don't have to do that five-day quarantine. Um yeah. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on how you're traveling uh, between now and then. Um, and uh, let's yeah. have you do go over there. And we're going to send our best wishes to you. And uh, hopefully, uh, we get to see you uh, over there competing for the Olympic trials. Uh, hopefully, a chance to go to Tokyo uh, in about a couple of months' time. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for your wishes. <laughs> hopefully, I can go. We go. It'd be awesome, yeah. No worries. And that's uh, Jackson there joining us on the DV Aquatic uh, Swimming Team. Of course, uh, if you want to get involved in swimming, we'll put all the details up on how you can get involved uh, in the sport of swimming, especially down there at DVE. There's more on the Smash Watch Show right after this. Don't go away here on the 10th year celebration.